What's up, Leo? Sandra from For Your Chi. This is your December 2023 reading. Thanks for being here with me. Usual spread here. Six houses here on YouTube. Remainders on the Patreon link below in the extended. I am in the middle of recording the 2024 reading, so I'm halfway done now. Tier 2 is what you want on Patreon for the extended readings, but Tier 2 will also get you Tier 1, which is my yearly readings that I have now posted half of. The remainder half of the 2024 readings will be posted on Patreon in the first half of December. I'm already ahead of schedule, and I'm a little proud of that. All right. Speaking of proud Leo, let's get to your reading. Oh, and also for those of you that want to book a session with me, I've got the booking link below. You can view my schedule and book at the same time. Your first house, where you are in the first couple of days of December, you are planting seeds of abundance that you're going to reap later. Good for you. There's a peaceful resolution here. Um, so this involves partnering with another, okay? Um, but you need to work this out first, this disagreement of sorts, Leo. Your second house of money and stuff. You're receiving blessings from the heavenly plane and the earthly plane in the month of December. Good for you. This either comes in the form of where you work or it's coming in the form of gifts that you're receiving for some holiday uh, type gift. Now, interestingly enough, they're saying there's something better here. So even though you are receiving some thing in December, there is an indication that there is more to receive from a different source. Okay, so pay attention to that. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to get into the work? I'm going to, you did pull a major warning in your houses of work and career. And I know careers in the extended, but I'm going to talk a little bit about it here because I feel like it's important for you to get this heads up. Many of you probably already know this is going on, but, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Your third house your brother or sister, they're receiving messages. Usually this comes in the form of nighttime dreams, uh, but this could be a daydream. It also could come in the form of information they receive through meditation. They could be a little panicked or freaked out. Um, it is unlikely to happen in the manner that they think. They think they have just received this you know, premonition. Well, instead of a premonition, it could be more of a symbolic message, you know, the encrypted kind where they have to decode it. And I know it's crazy, but it happens all the time. Your fourth house, house of home where you currently live. You are reminiscent of times past when you had a better time at home. You are reminiscent of times past because you wish it were the past when you're at home. And especially home for the holidays. They want you to wait on taking any action right now for change. It's not time to make any changes with regard to to where you live, it's best to plan it more. Okay, there needs to be more planning, more thought, more research, more everything, more saving, okay, things of that nature. Your fifth house, your social life, friendship, fun, dating for those of you single Leos, solitude, where well, you're spending more time alone. This is not necessarily a bad thing. You might not be in the mood to hang out around a bunch of people, Leo. It's okay. We all go through that. However, they're saying it's the perfect timing to be alone for some reason. 
Um, some of you just may not have time to hang out. Others of you just might not, like I said, be in the mood for company or be in the mood for a crowd. Okay, your sixth house. We need to talk about this. Sixth house represents work and health. Heartache and loss represents a bummer. This is the bummer card. You are disappointed in work or health or both. It is indicative of you having your heart set on a certain outcome, whether it be work or whether it be health related. I'm seeing someone going to the doctor and hoping to get some good news, but instead they did not get the report that they wanted or you did not make the progress that you intended or wanted or hoped for. You got to know on top of this. So I'm hoping this is not a double disappointment whammy and that the instructions of these cards and messages are just telling you that you need to try something else in order to fix this, okay? Now, for those of you that this is talking about health, look at this. I pulled an extra card. I went right to the Archangel Raphael deck. Exercise is the key. It could be that someone needs more physical therapy or um, perhaps someone was assigned a home exercise program, Leo, and you haven't been doing it. And you go to the doctor and they're like, have you been doing your home exercises? And you're like, yep. And they're like, no, you haven't because you don't have your motion back, something like that. Okay. How many, how many Leos am I hitting the nail on the head? That's what I want to know. Oh, I already pulled your three cards. Okay. So let's look at your three cards of tarot, Morgan Greer of who's around you in your seventh house of primary relationships. Before we go to the extended, you have the chariot card. That is indicative of a cancer could be a Gemini though. And then you've got two swords. So those are air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius again showing up in every reading. I can't help it. It is what it is. All right. So if you want to join me in the extended, the link is below. It's on Patreon. We're going to be going over your seventh house of primary relationships business partnerships for those of you that that applies to including romance angel cards your eighth house of contracts taxes legal matters the source of your significant other's income your ninth house of school and travel your 10th house of career or your mother your 11th house of your child or your best friend the 12th house what's about to happen three months from now that will be march now let me just go back to the sixth house because there's something else that i wanted to say here I know we talked about health, but as you know, the sixth house could also represent work. So there could be a big disappointment coming up around work. Um, perhaps you get written up, you get a pink slip, you got laid off. The sixth house and the 10th house, because 10th house rules your career, 10th house is also not good. 10th house suggests that you are panicking with regard to your work or your career, your job, something like that. Um, obviously, there will be a resolve, you know, but you're going to have to take some action in order to get that, that answered for you. So anyway, I'll go more into that into the extended reading. Many blessings to you, Leos. Take care. Happy holidays.